At this point we should all know that rando noughting is no joke. You're leaving chance up to an app, an app that points you in the direction of a random location. You have no idea where this may be, the middle of the woods, a stranger's house, an abandoned asylum. The app is risky and I certainly wouldn't be taking chances like these. So today on top 5 scary videos, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 5 scary rando nautica stories part 2. Before we begin though be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that, let's jump in. Coming in at number 5, the creepiest experience. Posted to Reddit by user Somba Unicorn, they described their creepy experience on the app, stating, I quote, Hi, I'm Danny from Italy and tonight I had an extremely creepy experience using Random Nautica. I downloaded the app this morning and I wanted to try it. I went with a friend of mine and this afternoon we found an old abandoned house with ivy all over the walls, kinda eerie. Tonight, more or less one hour ago before I took her back home, we tried again. The app led us to a long gravel path with some houses on the left and on the right, just normal houses. Nothing scary or weird. Since the path was kind of narrow, we decided to go on walking. We walked for more or less 200 meters and we arrived in front of the gate of a normal house. I wanted to take some photos to post here, but while I was starting the camera app, the creepiest thing happened. I heard the voice of a little baby laughing. It was 1am, definitely not a kid playing there. And me and my friends started running at the same time without looking at each other. We ran for a bit, then I turned back and saw two lights, similar to cat eyes in the dark following us. They had the heights of a 5, 6 year old child. In the meantime there was a sound of someone running in the gravel. Everything disappeared when we approached the car and we didn't hear any sound of something running back. The creepiest thing is that my friend asked me about the lights and the sound. I don't know what that thing was but damn, I have chills down my spine. Coming in at number 4 we have Kinda Creepy, posted to reddit by user sunshine on the river. They described their incredibly creepy rando naughting experience. I quote, Went for a late night walk with my friend. As we were walking and talking I started telling her about this project and we decided to find an attractor. A little backstory on my friend, she is an artist and for quite a while specialised in portraits. At one point she was working on a project where she would paint portraits for the families of children who had passed away. As we turn onto a street she says, I think this is the street where that little girl died. I immediately freaked out and asked her what she was talking about. It seems that several years ago a little girl was abducted from a nearby school, brought to a house in this neighbourhood and never seen again. As we get closer to the attractor it becomes clear that the point is going to be in the farthest back portion of someone's front yard and she says, oh. It's on the other side of the street. I'm still not exactly following what she means so we walk to the end of the block and up the street so that we are on the other side of the attractor and there is a small beautiful little pocket park, lots of flowers, benches and a little free library. She then proceeds to tell me that the house that used to be where the park is was the scene of that horrible crime. It was dozed down and the park put there in remembrance of the little girl and she had painted a portrait for the little girl's family after her death. I mean it sounds like they were brought there for a reason, it's actually kind of sweet. Coming in at number 3, Scary Experience. Posted to Reddit by user Townset Jack, this security guard tells their terrifying tale of the first time using the app, Rando Nautica. I quote, I downloaded the app and started thinking what my intention for my first grand adventure is going to be. After 5 hours of sleep that was interrupted by construction workers in front of my house, I decided that my intention for my Rando Nautica adventure is going to be silence. So I packed up some necessities for my journey. I turned on the app and searched for anomaly. It gave me coordinates 2 kilometers uphill into a small cornfield. As I followed the google map to the location I started noticing that the hill was getting a bit steeper than I'd like and the wind seemed to die down a bit. So as I make my way up on the top I was like 40 meters away from my destination. I saw the cornfield and the wind seemed to blow and sway the crops but I barely heard any rustling. So I started heading into the field until 12 meters away from the destination of my adventure I stopped because I didn't hear anything since entering the cornfield so I listened. Nothing. I couldn't hear the wind rustling through the crops, me pushing past it, nor any sound of nature like beads, birds, nothing. And when I walked a bit closer, stopping 5 meters away from the spot, I noticed something. You know how you can tell that you exist? You can hear your breathing, heart beating, your footsteps, etc. I heard nothing again. I felt like everything stopped. Well, living for that moment. I tried yelling, but again, I heard nothing, not even my own thoughts. So I did what any sane person would. I ran out of there and didn't stop until I could see my house. That's my story and experience with Rando Nautica. I don't know what to think of this really, I still can't quite believe that an app could do something like this, but anyway, make whatever you want from this story, believe it or not. That is absolutely terrifying, I'd be sh** my pants if that happened to me, but I also would never download this app. So. 
Coming in at number 2, Rando Norting destroyed their life. Now this one is a long one so bear with me. Posted to reddit by user bornking2007, they describe how the Rando Nautica app almost destroyed their entire life. So the user begins by describing how their life is pretty structured, school, work, gym etc. That was until they came across the phantom project and Rando Nort subreddit. They felt their life was scripted and wanted to break out of the norm and this is where their problems began. I quote, I would get an eerie feeling every time I was out Rando Nauting. These feelings started staying with me even after ending a trip. I just felt like I was breaking a rule or asking for trouble. Things started falling apart around me in a way they never had before. Now on one occasion he describes a terrible storm and a tree falling down and crushing his brand new truck. He never parks in the driveway, only this one time. A couple days after that he was riding the bus and the bus hit another car. The person in the car was his boss. Very strange coincidence. After returning home from a Thanksgiving trip away his home was broken into with the robber making off with a bunch of electronics while he was sleeping. He also stole his wallet and went on a huge shopping spree. I quote, I installed a security system to monitor the doors and windows. Two shady looking guys show up to do the installation. They end up screwing up my electricity in my kitchen and I'm left without power for days. The wiring was poorly done and I felt like they were casing the place to break in later. All of this occurred within one or two months of me embarking on this random nought journey. And finally, coming in at number one, we have things got scary quick. This is another long one, but equally as terrifying. Posted to Reddit by user Friendly Possum Child, they describe how their random naughty experience went wrong really fast. She describes how one evening she and her four friends snuck out in the middle of the night and decided to embark on a random naughty experience, setting their intention as love. No one really took it seriously aside from herself and her best friend of eight years, Quinn. Now, the app brought the group to the middle school where they first met. They were so touched by this that they didn't end up going to the exact location location the app was pointing to, which was the backwards behind the school. The group was sitting at the school, hugging when they all heard a high pitched scream and ran to the car. Very creepy. Now jumping forward a bit, the user and Quinn decided to embark on a journey together without their other two friends. So they set their intention as friendship. The app took them through the woods and by a lake with no places to park, they would have to walk. This was when a car started following them. I quote, We didn't really think of it at first, but we found an empty abandoned parking lot to park at. And we noticed that the car was still sitting there when we parked. It wasn't moving. After around 15 minutes of nothing happening, the, the car begins to move. However, it doesn't leave, instead it pulls up next to the girl's car. I quote, When I tell you I looked this man dead in the eyes and his face was so empty, completely devoid of any emotion. The guy began to get out of the car, but before the, he could, the girl sped away. Very, very creepy stuff. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list with any random Nautica stories that we missed? Have you tried out this creepy app? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part three. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top five modern urban legends you won't believe. Charles Ekelberger said, notice that she does not mention one of the most terrifying urban legends of them all. The legend of Dark Queen Lucy who aspires to be a succubus. Ha 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 ha. I always get comments like this. Imagine if I did mention myself though. That, that would be the day the channel is out of control. I can't just add myself to lists. I ain't no legend, but in my dreams I do. I wish I was a succubus. Danny the Man 1313 said, seeing Lucy jump because of a squirrel is funny as hell. Thank you, I'm glad you enjoy it. If you want more content like that, head on over to Top 10 Central Dark. Our first video is almost at 65K. That's crazy. Kelly said, just came from the Central Dark premiere. Can't wait to see more videos. Thank you. Our next video is coming out on Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern time. I think we'll also be doing a premiere again. We should all be there. All of you. Slasher88 said, just subscribe to the new channel. All hail Queen Lucy. May I please get a shout out? My Dark Queen. Yes, you can. And I'm glad you like the new channel. Thank you. At least Bottle said, Blair, haters gonna hate. That's true. A lot of haters did hate on my last video for some reason. Someone said, Lucy, get a real job. <laughs> I was like, this is a real job. <laughs> I, I love my job. Tony Snell said, oh, can't wait for the new channel and I totally love you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary bit. And until next time, see you later. <laughs>